September 15th, Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe. On October 18th, the NBA threw them out of the game. Fortunately, the NBA can't stop you from wearing them. Air Jordans from Nike. This was the shoe that started it all. I was seven years old when I got my first pair. Michael Jordan, considered to be by the most the greatest basketball player of all time, started the sneaker culture. It was his first shoe, known as the Air Jordan 1 in a bread colorway, black and red, that got kids into sneakers. And so, because of Jordan, like the man himself, sneakers became iconic. In school, I was so cool, I knew that I couldn't increase them. My friends couldn't afford them. Four stripes on their Adidas. On the court, I wasn't the best, but my kicks were like the pros. Yo, I stick out my tongue so everyone could see that logo. Like the airplane. Sneakers are so popular, now there are co assignment shops throughout Los Angeles where you can sell your sneakers to other people. Sneakers have such a big presence in pop culture that it's even in music videos and movies. Hey guys, hey guys. look who's finally ready to play. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Even the former US President Barack Obama got a shoe dedicated to him. Sneakers are getting popular and more popular by the second. These three brands, Nike, Adidas, and Jordan, lead the US marketplace in sales. Shut up and take my money! According to sneakerbardetroit.com, the resale market for shoes is worth a billion dollars. That's right, a billion dollars. Sneakers are also making a huge presence on YouTube. YouTubers buy the new releases and review the shoes on their personal channels to their thousands and thousands of subscribers. Complex produces a sneaker show on Fuse TV and they also distribute on YouTube. With the rise in popularity of sneakers, who knows what the future holds for sneakers in the mainstream culture. Are you stupid? Don't crease them, just leave them in that box. 